Hey there, all my friends. Happy New Year to you. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness, we we made it another year. Woo, buddy! All right, so since it's a brand new year, it's another year to change the world, okay? So get out there and make some great design decisions and do something amazing, okay? So right, here we go. Today's Revit tip is something that's come up um, frequently or recently, actually. This guy called me and said, oh no, Mike, I need some help. I moved my central file and now it doesn't work. It kind of broke and I don't know what's going on. Or I renamed my central file ah, and it broke all the links and everything. Ah, so, okay, let me calm down, calm down. If that's happened to you, that's what this Revit tip's about. How to rename your central file safely and how to move it to a new location safely. Okay, so that's where we're going. So let's do that now. Well, let's move my face right up there and we'll say new, we're gonna make a new project. <laughs> let's just say, okay, just maybe I should have had this new project already open before I started the video. But since my computer is so rocking fast, Oh, there it is. Okay, now here we go. <clears throat> this is our little architect's office. And let's say I've been working on this so hard. I'm like cranking along, la 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 la. But you get, when you get to a point in Revit when your file is complicated enough or your project is complicated enough, you need someone else to help you, please, to help you on the project. When you need help, you need to turn it into a central file. Once you turn something into a central file, it's not so easy to just move. Because these files that are just sitting here can, I'm going to hit save. Look at this, save. I can hit save. I'm going to call this one. I'm going to put it under, mm -hmm, under my documents, in my projects folder. I'm going to call this um, little architect's office. Okay. When you've got a little file that is just you working on it, you can copy it. You can move it wherever you want rename it however you want and still works but once a file is turned into a central file it's different it anchors itself it kind of it it locks into its location on your server and it knows where it is and it's tracking all of its local files and where they are and you move it or rename it, it it's like pulling the rug out from under it the thing falls over and it breaks and you're about to see that happen so i want to show you an example and how to fix it okay so here we are Let's make this into a central file. This video is not about making into a central file, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to watch. You have to see it happen. Okay, here we go. You hit collaborate. Then you click on work sets. Then you click on OK. And there, it's a central file. <laughs> Done. Just that fast. Actually, not quite. There's a couple more steps. Just two more steps. Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. It's turning into a central file right now. So this is where it's actually anchoring. It's like a, it, it, it digs in roots into your server, wherever it is located into that directory. Would have been a good idea to move it and name it properly before I turn it into a central file, but it's too late. Okay. This dialog pops up. You'll notice I'm the owner of every single thing in the file. Basically I'll just say, yeah, whatever I hit. Okay. Okay. Remember, there's only two more steps left. So one of those, I'm going to hit save. Okay. And it reminds me this is the first time it's ever been saved. Okay. Now one step left after it saves. <clears throat> so here we go. If you take a look at work sets, I'm still the owner of everything. Okay. So what I want to do is hit relinquish mine. And with no more steps, I'm going to hit synchronize. Okay. Basically, this is saving the central file. It's synchronizing because I'm actually in the central file. Okay, here we go. So it's done. We have a central file. Whenever you have a central file, that is when you say file, eh, close, get out of the central file. Do not get inside the central file. It's bad mojo. It messes everybody up. Anybody that has links to it that is trying to work, it, it, it screws them up. Because they can't save and it, it just really starts fouling up who said it's, it's a mess. Don't open the central file period. Okay. And what you got to do is you say open and then here, there it is. You click on it and look at that. It says 
create new local and that's how you work and you tell your team hey everybody you can get a new local now off of the central file and here's how I've named it blah 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 and you tell them where it is and they go get a local file off of it okay so that being said let's say we want to rename it ah and this is I'm gonna hit cancel here what I'm gonna put rev it down we're gonna go to that file and we're just gonna rename it because that's what some people do and that's what happens I'm gonna show you how to fix it okay so if I went to uh, documents and I went to projects there's my little architect's office the little central this is central file and I say oh I need to rename this sounds like a good idea so I just click it and I rename it um because I forgot to put I forgot to put R2020 this is Revit 2020 I want to put that in the name okay so we're good and so <clears throat> and I'm also wait little architect's office oh I forgot to put in the name this is in um, I'm, I'm gonna put it in Boulder Boulder Colorado little architect's office in Boulder Colorado blah 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 okay Revit 2020 so whatever you rename so I'm gonna say it's not actually in Boulder Colorado but that's a cool name right okay so done oh, I, I renamed it I just pulled the rug out from under this file it's gonna be very sad oh dear watch this when I go back to Revit I say okay I'd like to open that file hey look I got a name Boulder little architect's office Revit 2020 everything looks good but when I highlight it it goes eh. can't even create a new local off of it okay because let me just tell you what happened when you copy a file to a new location or you rename it you basically just made a local file so this is not the central anymore it it is looking for the central but it is a central so you're like what so you just really messed up this file so here's how you fix it you go ahead and open this file just say open open it up it's okay wait for it the file opens but you got to get your brain wrapped around this it's a local file it's going to yell at you the central file has been moved so it's a local and it can't find central because it's it is central see it, it's it's messed itself up so you say okay whatever <clears throat> I like clicking that okay whatever button anyway it pops open gives me another warning ah the central file can't be found I know calm calm down what you do is you go over to file you do a save okay and we're going to save this file well I'm gonna do a save as file save as okay project I'm gonna save it as a project here we go save it as a project right on top of itself when I hit save a second ago it just saved a local copy because it is a local right so saving as on top of itself but here's the trick because it's a local I have to go down to options and tell it to become essential again and then I hit okay when I hit oh, save it saves back on top of itself okay and fixes the fact that it was a local it switches it back into a central okay so that if I said well oh, close and I got out okay get out remember because I'm back in central I say open now I would like to open this new one Boulder little architects office 2020 when I highlight it look it's fixed it's back to a normal working central file again okay and then you can tell your team hey team guess what I I broke it by renaming it but I fixed it now you can go and get more um, get your local files off of it you tell your team it would be a good idea to tell your team you're about to change the name or move the file always tell your team and what they can do before you rename it before you mess it up they can synchronize with a central file and get all their changes pushed into it and then when the last person that has saved contacts you and says okay dude I went ahead and I'm synchronized and and you talk to everybody everybody synchronized okay everybody everybody, everybody. that's when you rename the file that's when you open it and save it back on itself as a central okay that's if you need to rename it all right so here we go so <clears throat> let's suppose someone moves it to a new directory so let's just close so there it is sitting in my projects directory, and I'm like you know what 
under my projects directory, I should have a little more architect, I mean, a little structure. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to say a new folder for all my, um, here's for, all, I'm going to put all of my projects that are in Colorado there and all my projects that are in um, mm -hmm, Idaho here in this directory whatever you can make directories of the states that you're working in if you're working or directories of the different university campuses that you're working on or directories you can set up your directory structure however you want but under Colorado let's just say you would make a new folder called Boulder whoops and then maybe a folder called Denver new folder Denver right you guys follow me Denver, Denver, Denver. Okay, so basically, I want this little little architect's office, and no, that's the old one. I'm gonna delete that. That's what it used to be called. Okay, now look at this. Here is the Boulder little architect's office and its backup directory. Okay, I am going to right click and cut those and go into Colorado. And I'm going to go into Boulder and I'm going to paste them here. Bam. Well, basically, see if I go back to projects, now yeah, it's nice and clean. This is how I want it. I want all the directories of all the states I'm working in here. Okay, let me go back to Revit. I've basically pulled the rug out from under it. I moved it. I'm going to say open, like ah, under Colorado, go into Boulder. Ah, there it is. Broken. Remember how to fix it? Hit open. Once it's opened, work with me. You guys remember this. This is good. Stick with me. It's broken. Whatever. Hit the whatever button. It opens. And you got to hit whatever one more time because it's broken. Look at this. File. Save as a project. You remember this? Highlight it. Go to options. Make it a new central. Because it became a local when I moved it, I say, okay save once you save it as the central you are inside the central so you say you go file close and you get out and then you tell your team hey team okay now I've moved it to the new location and you tell them where it is and look at this when you go when they go they can get a new locals off of it all right so I know I know that's crazy and it's gonna happen to you and that's how you get out of that sticky situation all right, you guys, I hope that helps. Happy New Year. Have a fantastic year. There's lots of Revit tips coming up. And don't forget to put your suggestions for Revit tips down in the comments box below, and I'll try to get to them as quickly as I can. All right, you guys, happy Reviting, and uh, we'll talk to you later. See you on another video. Okay, bye-bye.